Hey everyone, welcome back to another Sim Hub tutorial video. This time we are talking about session info, I guess. Um, we're back editing the viewer dashboard again, and the person likes to do some offline testing from time to time. And when you do testing in offline sessions, things like laps remaining, current lap, uh, time remaining, a lot of that stuff can look really wonky on a Sim Hub dashboard. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and we're gonna make a quick edit to one of the properties of the dash to show you how to do that. Uh, and then you can go ahead, copy and paste, do what you like, modify it. It's all entirely up to you. That's the beauty of Sim Hub. So let us dive right in. Okay, so in the email, this viewer said that they wanted to look at this lap session info widget. So we're going to edit the widget and he wanted to look at laps. Okay, so let's look at laps here. Um, let's see what he has in the text box. Okay, this is perfect. Lap plus current lap plus slash plus total lap. So he's concatenating all of this right here, these two properties plus two text strings to get this. This is a really cool idea. I had not thought of doing it that way. I like that. I'm going to have to uh, remember that for a future dash um, when I build another one for myself because that is really cool. I never thought to just concatenate some text strings like that. All right, but... The problem is, is when you look at this total lapse in an offline session, that property can be like an infinite number. It can be a, just such an insanely long thing. You're never going to be able to display it on a dash. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to my favorite good old fashioned handy dandy if statement. If open parentheses, not close. We're going to open session type name. If session type name equals and we want to go with a single quote control c control v because i already stole that earlier if session type name equals offline testing if it equals offline testing all we want to do is have it display the current lap that's all we care about if it is false and it does not equal offline testing we want it to display this string of text right here we're gonna close our parentheses and there we go. So now right now, because I don't have iRacing loaded up, I am not in a session um, that is current, that is offline testing. So it's gonna read false. So it's going to default to this right here as what's displayed on the dashboard. So there you have it, really quick and easy. Um, you can apply this to a number of things if you have a session time remaining um, when you're in a um, boom offline session, you know, that can look really wonky as well because you have an infinite number of time uh, in your offline testing sessions. So you can go ahead and use this uh, to modify as you wish. I will post it uh, in the description below. Um, if you have any comments, please feel free to post them up. If this does help you, uh, please give the video a thumbs up so that some other people can find my Sim Hub tutorials and Hopefully we can get more people working in SimHub. Um, if you do have a dash you would like me to take a look at, you're having some questions, also feel free, post in the comments. I'm always happy to help out if I can find some time. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you next time.